Hi guys, my name is Fai and Fai and welcome back to a brand new episode of Tinder One. Now, first of all, I want to apologize. I want to apologize for these uh, rendering issues that I've been having with YouTube. So hopefully, hopefully what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and upload this 10 hours before it actually comes on and hopefully it should be working. If it's not, then um, I'll check it. If it's not, then I won't post it on that day. I'll post it the next day because I want you guys to see it in as high quality as possible. But on that note, today, today, what are we doing today? We are going to complete this 200 beaver mega farm. Now, we completed the wheat production. We've got some bakeries down and we've removed the storage. Well, not removed the storage, removed the water storage. So we can delete all of that. And what do we need to do now? We need to make power pro a proper power system. We need to get rid of all the planks, cogs, and all these other workshops that we're not using, which is quite scary. But how many have we got? We've got nearly 1,500 planks, and we've got a few cogs. Hmm, cogs is a bit needed. What do we need cogs for? Or gears? We don't need it for power. Do we need it for grit smells? We do. So I'm going to need to make a few of them before we move on but that shouldn't be too bad so what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to move this a bit to kind of go in line with this setup here and get some water going along here so that we can irrigate this area we're going to sort out this tree area and get some irrigation going and we're going to do a wood storage which it's actually going to be here. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it being here. We're going to do about four or five of a tower wood storage, which is not too bad. We're going to get the grit mills down. And we're going to delete a lot of this stuff and get power. A lot of power. Because at the moment, we can produce around, I think it's around 1,500 power when we're not in a drought. As, we are, as always, we are in a drought right now. And... Once we produce that, we can get a lot of these grit mills going. Which means we can start producing loads and loads of bread. And then I can turn on all of these bad boys. And then we can just do like little designs like monuments and jazz like that. I may want to get down another one of these. I may want to get down another one of them. But okay, let's uh let's get on with this. So where do I want to put the grit smells? Now I am thinking here would be pretty decent. And they do fit nicely. I just got to think about where power is coming from. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, no. Maybe if I do it like this and then I do two one two oh whoa 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 no that won't work no that would look a bit weird that would look a bit weird hmm how do I want to get this done I think I do kind of want to move my carrots. I don't know where I'm going to put them though. And this can go. I haven't really spaced it well, have I? <laughs> I haven't really spaced it well. Okay, well, I'm going to try and figure out something here. And uh, see you guys in two seconds. Okay, so I've come up with just this, basically. It's, it's really simple. I don't know, don't need to really complicate it, but I am going to be moving this so we can expand these two. So I think that's okay. So why they build that? I want to start getting this area sorted. I want to get this side of the river done and dusted. So we're going to delete that. We're going to delete that. And we're going to empty that storage for now. And let's start getting all of this planned out. So for this uh, tower we are going to need a 
about four of them. So I'm going to do it in the water because I'll have enough power there. Yeah, because I, I want to use this greenery for uh, forestry or anything else that I need. So I need to make sure that I don't use up my land mass. So in order to do that, we're going to make a little storage in here. How big is it? Is it three by three? I think it is. I think that should be fine. And I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to have a, a massive um, tree warehouse because at the end of the day, I don't think I'll be needing that many trees. It's only really to produce food. So that shouldn't be too bad. And then all we need to do is just get platforms going up and everything is dandy. All right, and that's that little storage done. So we're okay with that, I'm fine with that. Can that reach any further? No. And it can't reach much further up there either. I may need to make another forester quickly, just temporarily, so we can build it out here. Let's just get that done. Um, we'll do that there. Because I kind of want to get water going through here. So that means I may have to delete this for a bit. Water coming through here would be great. Here and here. Just following the simple design I've got going already. So if we delete this. Yeah, we don't need water going all the way to the end. And we get dynamites going down. Now we should have enough dynamites. We've got about 300 dynamites, so that should be enough for this project. They're still building that? Okay, cool. That's fine. And then we're going to get... I want to move this down. Because once berries are done, you don't really need it there. I want to move this to like here. Oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. So that will uh, give us just enough range to hit the top here. I don't really need trees here. I just did that for just to make things a bit faster. We're going to need woodsmen's or what are they called? Lumberjack flags. I'd say I'll put three down just for the sake of it. And yeah, we'll wait for that to get done and we'll sort out this area. So I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, so now they're done pretty much with that. They're still doing a little bit here and there, but we can start planning. Now, again, I don't think I would need many trees. So, we're going to go like this. And, you know what, I think that may be enough trees. Because we're not going to be using a lot. And I keep saying that because we're not going to be using a lot. I'm not going to have this power supply, this engine here. And we're just not going to be using it. So let's delete this stuff. Don't mind deleting it. I don't want to delete that one because that one's fully done. And I want to turn these. Actually, I'll leave the small ones there actually. Just, just in case you need trees quickly. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. This actually can go. I need this open. They're all paused. Why haven't I not got enough weavers? Mostly because I've got too many here. Let's take a few off here. Still no unemployed weavers. Okay, <laughs> let's pick another. Two. Where are you going? 
Where is everyone going? I haven't even got anyone in there. District 5. This is District 5, isn't it? Yeah, no one's there at the moment. 8 feet. Okay, you guys need to be doing other stuff. Okay, there we go. We have beavers here. Okay, lovely. So, let's uh, get rid of this. That will let water come across here as well, once we get the dynamite done. And then I might make a carrot farm here. So pretty much, all this can go. Like that. And apart from the fully grown trees, I'm literally just going to delete them. I, I don't really have time <laughs> to wait for them to grow and all that jazz. Okay, so now that is all deleted, let's uh, get rid of these last stumps. Like so. And clean that up again. We can now start a little carrot farm. So again, gonna have a uh, dynamites going along here. I think up until here is just fine. I think that is overkill, but hey ho. Hey ho, we don't need to worry about that stuff. Then we're going to get a farming house. Ah, oh, that can't fit there. Well, that won't be too bad, to be honest with you. Could put it there. But what am I going to use this space for? I'm going to have a pathway along here. I like squares, as you can tell. <laughs> I like squarey things. What am I going to use that for? I could use it for like statues and stuff. So maybe I'll leave that open for now. It would be nice if it could go like that. No, we'll just do it like this. Yeah, that's fine. That is absolutely fine. We're going to get rid of this Lido as well. Because I'm going to put them somewhere else. Don't need them here. There's going to be a pathway of water here. This can pretty much get deleted. But we are going to need a pathway as well. Let's delete that. Put some dynamite there. Like so. Okay. Because I'm going to sort of square off this river a bit. It shouldn't be too bad if we put some levees here. We'll dynamite this area to make it like a nice streamline of power. And then we'll have a pathway going here. We can have it coming up here as well. Okay, yeah, I'm good with that. It's all in my head, don't worry guys, I got this, I got this. All right, let's start blowing stuff up. What we love to do. Okay, so most of that is done. We are gonna now move this. Yeah, just this. Cool. And move the pathway around a bit to make it look a little bit more unified. So we'll put it there for now. We might move it out here. And that can go across like that. We'll put some stuff here. Maybe I can put some more trees as well. Like that. Okay, then we can do something here. Not sure what we're going to do there yet, but we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go along. 
And once that is built, look at that. Lovely. So now we've got this area to play with for, with carrots. So let's get some carrots down. Let's do this. Now, unfortunately, we can't put it on planks, which makes sense, you know, it does make sense, but kind of a bummer because it, it destroys our square. But we can always put something else there, a bench or something. You know, it's good to sit amongst the carrots. Now, let's sort out our berry farm. Let's get some more pathways going because we don't have enough pathways already. All right, and then tidy up a little bit. Let's do that. And that, I would say. Okay, that looks all right. I do, I'm gonna get rid of this forester, to be honest with you, because it's just not needed. Once the berries are down, as long as they don't die, which I don't plan for them on dying, it's just not needed. Delete that. Let's start detonating this. We've got to multitask to get things done as fast as possible. I'm gonna to have to destroy that and rebuild it, but that's okay. Such is life. Right, where's the berries? Where are the berries? So I think that would be a decent sized berry farm, to be honest with you. And I have decided to make each district supply their own beavers because it would be too much micromanagement if I'm back and forth sending children to their doom. I mean, to their um, to heaven. Even that sounded bad. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I, no beavers were hurt in the making of this, I promise. Okay, let's... Um, get that there for now that will change most likely I'm gonna put that there and once he's planted I think I'm gonna delete this and put some more um, haulers posts because we're gonna need at least 20 haulers to carry around all the stuff that's going on all right that is done and then we've got that everything should be pretty nicely irrigated once this is done. What am I waiting for them to do? Oh, I'm waiting for him to plant everything. Okay, wow. Okay, we can delete this bit. We can start putting dynamite here. And can we do here? Maybe. It's gonna make their journey pretty long. But they'll survive. You know, let's make these higher priorities. Because we need to get that done as soon as possible. Then we can put some uh, berry things here. I'm happy to put them here. And then maybe I'll do an extra water, but right now I don't need it. But it may be a possibility later on. It may be a possibility. This can actually be deleted now. I should have picked up all of that. I should have picked up all of that. You know what, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They can survive a few days without carrots. Okay, so that is pretty much done. Nice little berry patch here. We've got our free haulers post. We've got a nice little area here that I'm gonna do something with a bit later. So we've pretty much done everything apart from one thing. The most scariest thing of all delete all of this and make power now technically we're producing 1100 around 50 power here that's enough for this to be honest with you they only take uh it doesn't it doesn't say it doesn't say there mm, they should put that on the actual information there it takes 60 power so that's 600 power right there so we're already making enough power to deal with this but, 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 I want to make sure that if I have to expand, that there's going to be enough power for everything. So, 
I'm gonna build maybe one more big or two more big um, power wheels. That costs a fair bit of resources. I should have enough. Okay, I should have enough, that's fine. All right, I have to slow it down because for some reason I'm getting a lot of lag. Um, all right, so let's start deleting. Whew, scary stuff. All right, make sure they don't have any materials in them. Oh, I did not want to do that. To be fair, we've got enough, so we don't have to worry about that, to be honest. There you go. And that's got eight planks in it. Um, you know what? Doesn't matter. And let's delete all of this. Because we don't even get a stream going down there anyways. So that's still producing a fair bit of power. Now, now I've got to think about how I want to get this power over here. Now I was thinking of doing something underground. Let's delete this. And this. How would we get a big power thing in there? Now I know it's a lot deeper. So I would like it there. Like there. Would that be, I think it might need to be a little bit higher. Yeah, I think it would need to be a little bit higher. Okay, so we've got to build a, a, a fair amount of levees. <laughs> so let's get this all emptied. And there you have it. Making, how much power is it making at the moment? 1,000, nearly 1,600 power love it kind of slows down a bit there what's happening there hmm maybe it's filling up this area or something or this area yeah it's speeding back up okay that's fine that's absolutely fine opened up all of these and i've turned on all the pods so this place is done this place should be filling up with 200 beavers pretty soon and I've done some stuff to the storage, like in this one, I've only allowed berries just so we don't have a little bottleneck of what we can store. Man, we finally did it. We finally did it. It looks beautiful. So guys, that is all I have time for today. Hopefully by the next episode, all beavers should be born. There should be around 200 beavers in here, give or take, maybe more, maybe less, but we'll check it out and hopefully it all doesn't fall to pieces. So I hope you enjoyed watching me make this district as much as I liked making this district. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. On the next episode though, as long as everything goes fine with this one, we are going to start building the dam. This massive dam here. And most of you are going to put the power district here as well. And we're going to be making a lot of power. We're going to be making a lot of power. I do want to make thousands and thousands of horsepower. So guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.